Hello, it's Friday the 4th of July 2014. Welcome to this happy, happy Independence Day, especially for our many millions of American viewers to our little show. Welcome to Cooking with Chris. What an exciting time. Here we are in my little old kitchen, boys and girls. And today I'm going to attempt, <coughs> notice I don't say show you, I'm going to attempt to do something very easy, an omelette, an omelette. Now, I say easy. I have made one rather unsuccessful attempt on this, although, although I ate the item, it did turn out more like scrambled eggs in the frying pan. Have a look at this. See what I mean by scrambled eggs? Now, I don't know if it was anything to do with the, uh, the pan I used, because I've got this, this nice saucepan, now this this is this is now being cleaned since I used it yesterday, but it is there's no like um oh, what do you call it non-stick stuff in there or anything like that. So I think that might be partly to do with something, but it did, as you saw, end up like scrambled egg rather than an omelette. So today I have been to another new supermarket, Asda today, which is a little bit further than uh, than all the supermarkets we're on to. Uh, I actually went in to buy a new duvet. Because they're only like eleven pounds for a four point five tog duvet. Because we're getting rather hot under my other duvet, my winter one, during the summer months. Very, very hot. Then I'm a hot, hot person. You can understand that, can't you? Can you just imagine how hot it would be if we were both in that bed together? It would be very hot, wouldn't it? So I've uh, bought a new duvet in there, and uh, oh, I also bought a thermometer, one pound. I don't know what for. I just saw it. and I thought, let's have a thermometer. But I also bought this brand new, look at this, this um, Asda Home, George Home, look at this lovely ceramic uh, frying pan. I've never had a ceramic fire, fry, <laughs> I can't get the words out, a ceramic frying pan. So I'm quite pleased with this, look at this, look, look. Ceramic frying pan, 15 pounds in Asda. You can't go wrong, dear, can you, eh? Anyway, let's get on with this. So we'll give this a little, uh, I think, it was a bit funny with new stuff. I think we need a little, little rinse out with this first. And then we get on with it. And then, just rinse that out. Dry it a bit. And here we go. Okay, so let's see how we get on. I have here my three eggs. Yes, of course they're free range. Do you need to even ask that? Three eggs I'm going to put in here. I should do my best not to get the shit. Nothing worse than having a bit of shell in your egg, is there? I hate that. Three eggs. We don't have to worry about not breaking them. Because we're going to mix them all up. There we are. Three eggs. Now. I am using a combination of instructions. from my friend Ronnie and my dear, dear sister, Sharon Butler. So here are the eggs. We shall now just mix them up nicely, whisk them with a fork. Now, I've got to tell you, when Ronnie whisks stuff, it tends to get whisked for like 10 minutes. Now he did this once with mashed potato. He was complaining when I did mashed potato, it was always lumpy. It didn't bother me. It tasted all right to me. So he once whisked this stuff for like, oh, seriously, 10 minutes. <laughs> with a bloody whisk machine. Oh, got my head in. So we just want to mix it together. I don't think you need to go too bad. That looks all right to me. Does that look all right to you? One minute. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Being careful not to pull it all out. Does that look all right to you? Can you see that? Here we are, that better? Does that look about all right to you? I think it does. Okay. So at this point, my sister says I should add the ingredients. Put it all in with the egg. So you haven't done the egg first or anything. So I'm gonna do that now. I've got, oh, where's my half a pepper? I've got half a pepper. So we already did half yesterday, you see? And both of them said I should chop these things up into very, very small pieces. Tiny, tiny pieces. <laughs> This is going to be a long show, isn't it, really? 
Chop, 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 Has Barry Manilow got any songs about cooking? I don't think he has, has he? Ask one of the Manilow fans. So we just put that into the egg. There's my half a pepper. We mix that around. I've got a couple of mushrooms. We like mushrooms. Although I had this the other day and it didn't turn out right, it ended up like scrambled egg in a, uh, in a frying pan. I must say after I had it, I wasn't hungry afterwards. Very, very filling. And of course, as always, gang, no animals are being harmed in the eatings of this food. Right? Chops up the mushroom carefully, avoiding one's fingers. You ever sliced your finger off? You see these stories sometimes of, you know, people removing a finger or something like that, don't they? Right, so there's mushrooms nicely chopped up into the egg thing. Right? Oh, miss, misses and gets it all over the stove here. <laughs> Does that hurt your ears? Listen. Is that hurting? Did you ever did you ever have a teacher that when the class was being really bad, used to get his nails or her nails and just scratch them along the wall, did you? Oh, along the blackboard. They have blackboards now, do they? They have these um, felt pen things. I think we'll, or, or, um, what's that thing called? PowerPoint. Do they, have, do they have PowerPoint in schools? Do they use that? Okay, so we've got a tomato now. One tomato is enough. I've even got tomatoes growing now and turning red on my hanging baskets. I've got hanging basket tomatoes this year. I uh, did have some in pots as well, but they're all kind of ruined. Um, when we had a house storm, lost them all. Never mind, it's always next year. So we'll put the tomatoes in. And then finally, onions. Now I've cheated a bit with the onions. Waitrose do these frozen onions in a bag and it already chopped and everything. No need to worry about crying and all that business where you're chopping away at the onions. <sighs> oh, you want to look at the, what do you want? You want to look at the, the little tomatoes in the hanging baskets, here we are. Hanging basket tomatoes, look, they're going red. Couple of, oh, you can't see those. Can you see those ones? Hang on a minute, where's my hand? Can't see my hand, where's my hand? There we are, couple going red there. Oops, oh, it's come off. How lovely. I shall add it to the dinner. Nice, isn't they, eh? Right, so we'll put a few more onions from another packet, okay. I'm a great fan of onions, the way they do, oh. Oh, maybe I've overdone that now. Never mind, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Okay, so all this stuff's in here now. And I'm going to mix it up. There seems to be a lot more stuff than egg, but I presume that's all right. I don't know how to do this. I mean, there's three eggs in there. You would, that, that's enough, isn't it? Now, let me show you this. How does this look to you now? That look all right? Don't seem to be much egg in there now that I've put everything else in. Look, it's more like a thick vegetable soup. I don't know. Suppose it'll be all right. Right, let's go. Let's let, let's cook it then. Now, what did my sister say? Um, put on the cooker. We've got our pan. We've got, uh, what do I do? Right, put the, that's it, we'll have the super hot one on. Because it's a big old frying pan, this new fire pan. We want a bit of oil. Extra virgin olive oil is the only one I use. Uh, health reasons. Now, is that enough oil, do you think? Is that enough oil? Is that gonna be enough? That'll be enough, right? So make sure that's um, covering the base of the saucepan. as indeed it is. We'll wait for that to warm up for, for a little while. Time will pass now. A couple of minutes has passed and um, the oil seems to be all over the pan now. So I'm going to put in 
the cooking ingredients. Let's just pour, well I say pour, it's more like scrape the blooming stuff in to be honest, it's just not, doesn't seem to be very liquid enough. Should I just put some milk in this? Well it's too late now. Could I have the milk now? No. Omelette ingredients in the pan. Now, my sister and Ronnie have told me one of, one of the things I must have done wrong last time was to mix it while it was in the pan. So I'm not going to mix it this time. We've got it on a, on a scale of one to six on the, um, on the cooking thing, it's up, that's on five. Is that too hot? So should we wait for we we'll wait for it to bubble and see how long this takes? What's the time now? So it's now <coughs> four minutes to eight at night, and I'm waiting for something to happen now. Looks all right. Do you think? Looks okay to me. We'll just. Wait for something to happen. Should it be bubbling or something now? Bubbling. So we're now a minute past eight. We've been cooking now for five minutes. And it's all in one piece at the moment. But I'm not quite sure when to turn it over. Now, there's a lot of oil bubbling around the edge. I'm wondering if I put a little bit too much oil in the pan. Does that matter? I don't know. I'll give it another few minutes I think and then we'll try turning it over. Six minutes past eight and I reckon we can try turning it over now. Oh this is much better than yesterday's one. Oh there you are. Much better than yesterday's one. It's all together look. It's all one thing. It's not scrambled at all. So now how am I going to turn this bloody thing over? Oh. Uh, oh I don't know. Um, I don't seem to be able to turn it over that. Oh, it's falling apart. Why is that falling apart? Surely you don't... Come back here. Surely you don't... Surely you don't have to... Toss it like a pancake, do you? Um, what if I use a fork as well? Would that work? No, it's falling apart now. Oh, God. Um... Does it need a bit longer before I turn it? Let me have a look underneath. Or is it, oh, it's brown underneath. It must be time to turn. I'm going to have to just try and do it. No, it's falling apart. Oh, what a bummer! All falling apart. But it still doesn't look like scrambled egg like yesterday's one did. So, not too much of a disaster. Ah, yes, nice and brown underneath. Okay. So I've turned it over. This, this is going to be really nice. It's in now, one, two, now in four pieces, with some of the pieces, now on the cooker. <laughs> so we'll give that a little while again, and should we wait a couple of minutes while it does the other side? So we've done about another three minutes on the other side. I don't think we're going to need to do it as, as much this time. That's still a bit yellow underneath, but it's just about to go brown. Okay. To, uh, to top it off, I thought I might have some... Slice a little bit of cheese on top there. I try not to eat too much cheese. I'm a bit of a fan of cheese. Um, so I do try not to eat too much cheese though. This is number six. We do like a strong... Can't, can't understand the point in eating cheese unless it's got a really strong flavour. You know like that stuff you find at McDonald's on the burger? There's not much flavour in that, is there, in my opinion. You might like it, but uh, nothing on there. So we'll... Um, just put the cheese on top of the, a little bit more maybe, oh, I said that it wasn't going to have much didn't I, it's ended up quite a lot on there didn't I, I certainly won't be hungry after this so I've got the, just got the cheese on top of the omelette in the pan, letting it melt a bit, my sister says um, I could have chopped up the cheese and put it in the mix but um, that, that kind of 
it wasn't appealing to me to do that like that. We also have a cup of tea which I prepared while it was uh, just browning off on the other side and I think that's going to be ready in a second. Yep, give it another, let me see, don't want it to fall apart even more, but it's get, it is going to, it's going to fall apart even more. Is that because I put so much vegetables in there? Is that the reason it's fallen apart? Because it, I, mean, I, put, I put three eggs in, as you saw. Maybe I needed to put more eggs in or a bit of milk or something. Don't know. Just wait for that cheese to melt a little bit more. I think we're done. Yeah, that's brown underneath. Don't want to burn it. So I reckon that's done. Turn off the heat. Using the same plate we used to cut the cheese. So it's to save on the washing up, boys and girls. And to save on my electricity bill for the um, uh, dishwasher over there and serve on a plate. Now, as I say, it's, it's ended up in three bits. The cheese hasn't quite melted, but that doesn't bother me. Okay. Do you know, this looks, this looks really nice. Yesterday's one was just like a scrambled egg. Oh, the oil seems to have disappeared. That's probably gone into the egg. It's extra virgin olive oil though. That's all I use to cook with. I think that's probably the best. Best out of the worst, if you see what I mean. They always say olive oil is good for you, don't they? So glass the pan with, with water. And fairy liquid. Proper chefs are going to hate me for this, but uh, I've got Stokes tomato sauce, okay? That's from Waitrose, very nice to I have tomato sauce, I must admit, on most of my meals, to be honest. Nice bit of tomato sauce on there. Mm. There it goes, all over the cooker, never mind. <laughs> I can smell something burning on there, never mind. Cup of tea. And of course, now, Come into the living room and we shall eat. Oh, forgot my plate. Dinner time. I shall give you my honest opinion. I'm looking a bit orange now, I know. I think that's the uh, sunlight coming through the curtains. So what's the time now? Just coming up to quarter past eight, so this is taking about 20 minutes. One more bit of cheese on. Oh yes. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so it wasn't a whole omelet. It broke apart in four different places. Maybe you know why that would happen. Please let me know. The email address is fully operational. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk Now, that is Cooking with Chris for today on this Friday. Don't forget tomorrow, it's Saturday, we do the hour-long talk show, the live talk show. And you can join in by talking to me on Skype or on the telephone. And you'll find that at 12 o'clock. Every Saturday afternoon, UK time, we're on British summer time at the moment, by going to unitedkingdomtalktv.co.uk. Unitedkingdomtalktv.co.uk, tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Saturday's UK time. All right? Hope you enjoyed my little cookery show. See you tomorrow for the live show.